Hi guys, welcome to today's video, a tour of our first home. Welcome, uh, this is our first home. My husband and I bought our home back in October 2022 and we've done a couple of renovations already but since we are doing a whole new uh, kind of theme here on the channel of a lot of home DIY and inspiration and decor, uh, I figured let's start with a um, home tour. The first room in the house is going to be our entryway. It's really just part of our living space, but um, we wanted to kind of dedicate this space towards something that was useful and impactful in the room. So uh, originally all of our walls were just very bare, nothing to them. They are all textured. So um, we kind of knew that we needed to do something with that since it is a little bit of a dated look. It's coming back in different ways, but not the orange peel. <laughs> so we did this board and batten wall, my husband and I, very minimal tools. We don't have like a brad nailer at the time or really any uh, fancy saws. So we just kind of um, DIY'd this one on a very low budget. It took us about two days, including like priming and painting afterward. We did um, a smooth board on it to kind of get rid of that texture. We added some extra trim up here and lower so that we had this shelf. Most of these are thrifted paintings or pictures and then we've got some different hooks, a little bench with some storage underneath and just made this our entryway. A super useful space to help us like get ready to go or just an easy dumping ground when we come into the house. Um, so this is probably my husband's favorite part of the house, the favorite DIY that we have done so far. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I'm looking forward to doing another room in the house like this. So I'll be sure to have a similar tutorial up on the channel eventually. So the next space is our living room. It's on this fairly small side, uh, but we kind of were able to do a lot with the space, which was awesome. I still do have it decorated for Christmas. So hopefully this brings you some joy. Um, but we have a few DIYs that we have done in here already. Nothing super crazy. We did this fireplace that we got from Big Loss. It was originally white and I knew I did not want it white. <laughs> I wanted a very bold statement. I kind of follow the rule of threes. So having an attention drawer from three different directions of the room. Um, so we painted this seal skin by Sharon Williams. It's a beautiful color. It's um, one of the designers like picks for uh, Sharon Williams, so highly recommend that color. We have a few things planned like a framed TV and removing the popcorn ceiling. So super excited, stay tuned for those. So the remainder of the living space is kind of this miscellaneous two corners, but we try to make the best out of it. And we have done one major DIY here so far, being this archway. So it used to be very squared and we just knew that wasn't the vibe for an English cottage. So we took the remainder materials from our board and batten wall. So we used a smooth board for the sides and one by threes as supports, plastered it and created this soft arch. It's not a full semicircle. Uh, we just didn't want to lose too much height in our walls since we do have um, eight foot ceilings, but the softness of the arch really just kind of transformed the space to a good fit. So we absolutely love this one. Again, all of our walls are this orange peel, so the texture is a little off. Um, but we do plan on retexturing all of the walls and redoing the ceilings as well to get rid of the popcorn ceiling that's throughout the house. So eventually we're going to be working on those couple of projects. So we're going to go ahead and walk into our dining room. So this is our dining room. We have done a very simple but impactful, I think, DIY thus far. We did picture frame molding. It only took us a couple of hours, which was awesome. Um, but we did kind of like a double pane on the top and then a single on the bottom. It just added a little bit extra pizzazz, if you will. We have a Facebook find here. A lot of my decor and even furniture in the house is Facebook thrift finds or uh, Goodwill finds. So that's kind of how I roll. A lot of the stuff is secondhand. Um, so that's kind of just our dining room. It's again, fairly simple, but I love the picture frame molding. I do love our table. It is pretty big. We could easily get like three seats down and uh, just post all day long. So that is our dining room. 
walking towards the kitchen, we did these shelves um, fairly early into owning the home, but we basically just took um, a plank of wood, cut it in half, and I got these beautiful brackets um, from World Market. They're like um, kind of a bronzy gold filigree. And so we just made these shelves. I've got some decor over the year um, and some wine glasses up top. So like our champagne glasses from our wedding, which I love. Um, but yeah, just a really beautiful like decor corner um, that will just kind of feed into the kitchen, bring some of that wood accent from the rest of the house this way. So we're gonna walk into the kitchen now. So moving on into the kitchen, we have done a few DIYs here. Um, before we moved in, my husband took a baseball bat to this squiggly piece of trim up there. Um, so we don't have that anymore. And then we added some knobs and handles to all of our cabinetry. It just didn't have any and we need to break up the white in here. It is very stark white. It's not what we're gonna keep forever, obviously, but we've done um, just a few DIYs to transform it to what it is now. Originally it had this gray painted countertop and it was just awful. So we went ahead and did a faux marble uh, epoxy countertop. So we painted it, did the graining, and then epoxied over it. A few things to note if you are thinking about doing this yourself, do let it cure for a couple of days. Um, they will hold stains and get UV resistant because if you don't, it will yellow. It's not a permanent fix. We are going to end up redoing the kitchen a good bit down the road, but it is a lot better than when we moved in. So we'll take it. All right. so. Let's head on to the rest of the house. We're now in the master bedroom. It is the only bedroom in the bottom floor. Um, so a few things to note that we've kind of changed. We got rid of the carpet. It's that plain gray carpet throughout the rest of the house. And we put in this vinyl wood flooring. My husband and I did it uh, kind of just spur of the moment. And we also took off the popcorn ceiling at the same time. Um, we don't have any trim board up currently. We're waiting to kind of pick our paint. I'm hoping to do a lime wash paint in here, uh, which is super exciting. I'm gonna go over basically our vision for the room. It's gonna be a little bit different. Oh. Gonna be a little bit different for the rest of the house. Um, so I'm kind of going for a more Mediterranean feel in the room. Anyway, we have a beautiful mid-century modern dresser absolutely love this piece i am looking to refinish it so i will have a video up when we do that i'm super excited but not a whole lot has been done here yet um besides the floor and the ceiling so do stay tuned we're also going to be doing a master closet makeover here soon on the channel i'm super excited for that i've already collected a few items so stay tuned and we've got big things planned for this room is it a ball is it we are now upstairs in our guest bedroom. We have two bedrooms on this floor, but we do um, have the other room and bathroom occupied by someone. So not gonna be showing that space, but this is our formal uh, guest room. It's also a little bit of our office space. We have pretty big closets in here. So we kind of just have it as storage and a small desk in there if I'm doing any crafts or if my husband wants to do some work. Um, but we do actually fit a queen size bed in here. So it feels small but it's actually a very spacious room. We got this bed frame off of Facebook Marketplace as well. It was originally white with some paint on it and we just gave it a good um, spray paint and sealant over it. it. Really changed the feel of it. I'm really hoping to kind of pull into that more European uh, vibe in this room. And then um, we just have some random decor, all vintage or thrifted finds. Uh, eventually, we'll be switching this room over to an office for my husband and I, but as of right now, it is our beautiful little uh, guest room. Looking back on this past year, all the different DIYs that we've done this far, including the wall, the arch, picture frame molding, the fireplace, it's kind of hard for me to tell what I love most, but I do think that the dining room is probably my favorite feature. Um, more so about the viewpoints. So for me, when I look into the dining room through the arch, I see the picture frame molding. I just love the textural contrast it has, but same thing when I'm looking from the dining room into the living space to have that arch and then a beautiful focal piece of fireplace. It's just 
it's really peaceful and just so cohesive I think throughout the house the actual vibe that we're going for so I'm excited for some of the DIYs that we have coming up hopefully a couple more um, picture frame or just like molding details that we're going to be doing both in the closet and the master bedroom so those are going to be really exciting I'm super uh, pumped to get started on those so do stay tuned keep up with channel do subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any future videos don't forget to hit the like button as well if you enjoyed this kind of content and i will see you guys next stranger danger stranger danger noah <laughs>